With the traditional small town atmosphere paired with the sophistication and excitement of a college town, you will find plenty of benefits of living in the major metropolitan city of Decatur, Georgia. by Tiana Foreman, one of EPM's loan officers, as well as longtime Atlanta native and realtor David Landsman to talk a little bit more about why Decatur, Georgia is one of the fastest growing cities in Georgia. That's right. If you take a stroll through Decatur, you'll quickly see how friendly neighbors, tree-lined streets, amazing schools, parks and playing fields, libraries, colleges and businesses make Decatur a wonderful place to live. Not only is it a wonderful place to live, but it's also a very easy place to get around. There's actually three MARTA stations located right here in the city limits. And believe it or not, there's a train station below us right now, right here in the middle of the Decatur Square. There's a reason that the motto, everything is greater in Decatur, holds true with its residents. In 2021, Decatur's downtown square was ranked number two on USA Today's best public squares. Decatur is also known for its food scene and was named one of South's tastiest towns in 2012. In 2016, the New York Times called it Atlanta's equivalent to Brooklyn, New York. Decatur is also well known for its well-kept history. Developed during different decades, the various city districts and neighborhoods, each with its own unique character, have coalesced into the vibrant and diverse modern city that we see today. Beautiful homes and historic sites have been preserved to coexist perfectly with the new modern buildings that we see throughout the area today. Beyond the food, history, and neighborhoods, the public art scene has made its mark on the city with Decatur's art series, frequent mural pop-ups, and even secret door to Decatur. Here in downtown Decatur, there's always abundance of fun activities, festivals, and entertainment happening throughout the year, keeping its residents and visitors without a lack of things to do. The city of Decatur is a great place to live for those of any age looking to live within the city limits, but craving that small town feel. So it's one thing to hear about Decatur from us, but it's another to actually get to go visit the business owners here in Decatur, Georgia, and hear about why they put their establishments here. So let's go see about what they have to say. Let's go. Let's bounce. Located right off of the Decatur Square, I am here with Dave Mattingly, co-owner of Eddie's Attic. You want to tell us a little bit about Eddie's Attic, Dave? Yes, okay. Um, it is really a, an institution, a uh, legendary music place. Uh, it's been around since about 1991, 92, wow. and uh, started by Eddie Owen, who was the first person that owned this. And uh, what we, we're a developmental room where we bring the new acts or people that are just bubbling right at the top. And all they need is that breakout song to get going. And that is what most of our acts are. We've had a lot of famous people come through here. Awesome. Um, the legendary people here in Atlanta, the Sugarland, the Driving and Crying, uh, wow. Collective Soul, Ed, Ed Roland, the, you know, we had Luke Combs. A lot of the people start here and we can't keep them because they grow to the stage, the big stages. They go to the big stages. And after every Maddie. now and then they'll come back though, they'll come back and say hi. John Mayer started here. He used to be our oh, doorman wow. well, at, awesome. at the place. You know? What would you say you love about your business being located in Decatur, Georgia? Uh, the, the diversity of Decatur. Gosh, you can, you can basically find anything you want here in Decatur. And the people, you know, they're all diverse, but they're all, they're friendly. It, it's kind of like a little Berkeley you know, or Mayberry type of thing. It's kind of a blend between Berkeley and Mayberry. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a crazy little town, but it is so, so neat. And there is so much art here. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Guys, if you're in Decatur, you have to come check out Eddie's Attic, a local listening room. Dave, thank you so much for having us. And we will be back. Okay, fine. Looking forward to it. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here with Leo Briggs. She's with the White Bull here in downtown Decatur. And this place, I have to admit, got me really, really excited um, just by the name. I'm Italian, and I know the symbolism between 
um, not only your restaurant being Italian and farm to table, um, but also the bull in the, the, uh, the history of Italy. Mm -hmm. How did the, you guys come up with the name for the white bull? So the name actually uh, comes from Ernest Hemingway. He um, was a Even super, cool. super cool, super badass dude. Um, loved fishing, loved drinking, all the things that uh, we here at the White Bull support. Awesome. Me um, too. Me and too. Uh, he referred to a blank page as a white bull because it's both exciting and terrifying and represents this like fresh start. And um, Chef Pat Pascarella, who's our uh, chef and our owner, he uh, thought that the White Bull as a, as a concept, as a restaurant, was gonna be his blank page, his fresh start in the city of Atlanta and in Decatur. Um, awesome. And we've been here since 2018. We've been uh, growing and doing amazing things, opening new concepts, and we're super happy to be here. Well, I know the fresh goes with part of the, the farm to table. Is that one of the reasons why you picked the cater as your location for the restaurant? Yeah, absolutely. So, so Chef Pat wanted um, a farm to table Italian restaurant that was super focused on hyper seasonal, super local produce. So every week we work with lots of different farmers who bring their produce to us and we create wow, dishes awesome. based on what they're bringing us from week to week so the menu changes on like a day-to-day -day basis so next time you come back to the white bull you're gonna see a completely different menu you're gonna get to try lots of new stuff that you haven't had before it's a it's a really fun dynamic it environment your, your local patrons coming back more and more because it's always such a variety of something different yeah yeah I mean people are people are sad to see their favorites go but then you know we just introduce them to something that they like even better so that awesome. yeah that's, that's awesome. our that's our mission so what was the main reason that you chose to cater and especially the square area for the location for uh, yeah, I mean, Decatur is such a vibrant uh, culinary scene already. Sure. I mean, uh, people, it's extremely walkable, it's extremely um, friendly for public transit, and uh, yeah, we wanted our place to be accessible, to be like bright and airy and somewhere where folks could just stumble upon it, you sure. know, not necessarily. Even your, like your front windows, they're, it's all glass, so you can see right in. Yeah. It's like, it almost invites you in. And, yes. And when I, we came in today, you were making a TikTok video and like kind of sharing <laughs> your restaurant and yourself like with the, the world so yeah I think it, um, it kind of it definitely shows who your restaurant's about who you're about mm -hmm. and uh, I think the people at the cater are definitely um, at a way better uh, advantage for having a restaurant like yours here um, if you guys are in the Decatur area definitely have to stop by the White Bull um, and see Leo and all her TikTok videos maybe yeah you'll be, you'll be pop, pouring up a new drink or maybe you have something new on, on the menu yeah absolutely please come by um, we also do an aperitivo hour like a little happy hour four okay. to six every single day it's ten dollar pastas and oh, wow. special cocktails you can only get then so Perfect yeah it's a lovely little afternoon treat so that's awesome yeah absolutely. well I appreciate your time so very very much today um, and again if you're in the downtown Decatur area hey we've got to come into the White Bull all right so a little bit off the square of decatur is trinity home and designs i am here with lisa turner the owner lisa tell us a little bit more about your store and what you do well, um, we do interior design and we sell furniture for people's homes. So you don't have to use this as an interior designer, but that's what most of our business is. And I started out in construction. So I've been doing, I did that for like 17 years and I'd always help people with their designs and their finishes and things. And I got, I just got tired of that after a while. And I have a business partner, Wallace, and she'd been doing interior design forever and we referred each other all the time. So we both decided to join forces and do interior design and have a store. So it's been fun, I love it. It's the best part of what I was doing before, which is all the pretty stuff and putting people's homes together. Um, I use my construction background to help clients. I design a lot of kitchens and bathrooms and uh, it also helps me like help them make decisions about their home in case they've decided they wanted to change something. Yeah. We can talk about whether that's a good investment, not just financial investment, but an investment in their lifestyle. I love it. And you told me you recently won an award. Tell me about that. That was nice. So we, uh, Atlanta Magazine has a Reader's Choice Award. So we got voted Best Interior Design. Wow, so, what yeah, a huge accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> and you also told me you've been here for over 35 years. Tell me about 
what you love about Decatur. I, I love a lot about Decatur and uh, I have five daughters that all went to school here and were raised here. And it's very much a feeling of community, which it's hard to think that you're in such a huge urban environment like Atlanta, but Decatur is kind of embedded inside that perimeter area and it really is its own entity. I mean, it feels like you're in a different space. I love my village of Decatur. Yeah, it's just a great place to be, huh? It is. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Well, if you need some interior design work, definitely check out Lisa at Trinity Home and Design. She will make your house a home. Thank you so much for joining me today, Lisa. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us on this video of Decatur, Georgia. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay in the know on all of our future videos of Atlanta, Georgia.